Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this uh, lesson is Measure Time Intervals. Okay, this is lesson 10.3 in our textbook we're following, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. There's our common core strand right there. So our essential question is how can we measure elapsed time in minutes? And so we'll do a few of these right here. So here's a, a problem here. So Flora takes Algebra 1 in 7th grade. Her algebra class goes from 2.10 p.m. to 2.53 p.m. How long is her algebra class? Okay, so to find elapsed time, we find the amount of time that passes from the start of an activity to the end of an activity. So we want to find out how much time elapsed from 2.10, that's the starting time, to 2.53, that's the ending time. So we'll do a couple of strategies here. So one way is to use a number line. Okay, so what we're going to do, let me just slide that up here is uh, uh, we're going to find the time on the, number, on the number line that the class begins. Okay, so it said the class began at 2.10. So well, this will be our starting point right here. Okay, and you can just make tick marks. You don't have to, you know, have them, you know, evenly spaced, although it's better if you do have them evenly spaced. And, and that's okay if you don't, you guys. And so what we'll do is we'll count uh, on to the ending time all the way up to 253. I'm not sorry, 253 to 253. I don't know why I said 253, okay? And then we're just going to count by tens in this example, and, and that's going to be uh, for each of the 10 minutes. And then so we'll count, and then when we get up to uh, 250, then we'll count uh, by ones uh, to finally get to 253. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep adding tens, and then, uh, for example, here's uh, 10 minutes right here. So from 210, if we add 10 minutes, it's going to take us to 220. Okay, and so what we're going to do is just keep adding 10 more minutes up here, and then this will be 230. Okay, and then we'll add 10 more minutes, and it'll be 240. Okay, so we'll draw the jumps on the number line uh, to show the minutes from 210 to 253, and we'll record the minutes, uh, then add them up. Okay, so we'll do all this at one at a time. So there's plus 10 more minutes, and so at 2.20, when we add 10 minutes, it's going to take us to 2.30. So we'll add 10 more minutes, it'll take us to 2.40. Okay, plus 10 more minutes, there's 2.50. Okay, now we got to go to 2.53. So now we're going to add uh, by one minute. So now we're going to count by ones. Okay, so here's 2.51 right here. Okay, so we're going to count uh, each of those by ones. There's 2.51 right there. We just added a minute right there. Now the reason why this space is, you know, it's not... This is, if this is 10, this certainly wouldn't be 1 right there, but it, we wouldn't be able to write these numbers, so we had to spread them out. So, you know, whatever length you have on there, we're going to first count by 10s right here and then count by 1. So there's 251, 252, 253 right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add them all up. That's what the last little piece down there says is add them all up. So we're just going to add this 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, here it is, right down here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, so it's 43 minutes, okay, so let's answer the question right here, so the elapsed time from 210 to 253 is 43 minutes, so, so the class lasts, um, uh, Flora's class lasts for 43 minutes, okay, all right, so describe another way we could use jumps on the number line to find the elapsed time, okay, from 210 to 253. Well, we didn't have to jump by 10s. What we could have done was jumped by 5s, you guys, and done the same thing until we got up to 250 and then jumped by 1s again for here. So we could have done 210 plus 5 is 215, and I'm just counting 5s here. So 215, 220, 25, 30, 35, 40, there's 240. 45, 50, so there's 250, and then, then we just count by ones, one, two, three, okay, and then when we uh, get from 210 all the way to 253, then we just add these numbers up, okay, so we're going to add, here they are right here, 5 plus 5 is 10, we know how to count by 5, so here's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, so we still get 43 minutes, okay. All right, so counting by fives is easy. Counting by tens is probably even easier right there. So you just choose whichever way you want to. Okay, another way is to use an analog clock like the clock in your classroom right here. So 
Uh, we can find the starting time on a clock. So here's the starting time at 250, I'm sorry, 210 right here. And then we're going to go all the way around to 253 right there. So you'll see a bunch of stuff coming in right there. So there's 253 right there. And then remember, between each minute is five, I'm sorry, between each number. So from uh, 12 to 1, there's five minutes from the last lesson. Do you remember that? From 1 to 2, there's five more minutes. So we can count the minutes by counting fives and ones uh, until we get to 253. Okay, and then we can write the numbers next to the clock. So from, okay, here's the starting time. So there is zero minutes happening right here. So if we go to, to 3 right there, that's five minutes. Okay, that's what this 5 is right here. And then from 3 to 4, that's going to be 10 minutes, okay, counting by 5s. And then so from 4 to 5, that's going to be 15 minutes, okay. So there's 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, okay. Now we're at 40. Now we count by 1s, 41, 42, 43, okay. So we get um, the elapsed time is still... 43 minutes right there. Okay, pretty slick, huh? Okay, so another way we can do this, you guys, is use subtraction. We can write the ending time, which is this number right here, the 253, and then write the starting time underneath it. Okay, so uh, the starting time so that the, the hours line up and then the minutes line up. So the ending time is going to be 2. 53 and the starting time is going to be 210 right here. So we'll put the 53 and 10 in right there. And then since uh, the hours are the same, well, all we have to do is subtract the minutes right here. Okay, so 3 minus 0 is, is 3 and then 5 minus 1 is 4. So we still get 43 minutes right there. Okay, so the elapsed time is still 43 minutes. Okay, try this. Find the elapsed time in minutes uh, two ways. And so the starting time is 10.05 and the ending time is 10.30. Okay, well, let's do the number line right here. So find 10.05 on the number line. And then, uh, uh, let's see, if we're going from 10.05 to 10.30, I think jumping by fives would be nice and appropriate right here. So we'll count from 10.05 to 10.30, drawing marks and record the times on the number line. And then draw and label the jumps. Okay, so here we go, to, uh, all the way up to 10:30. So I just counted by fives. So 10:05 plus five is 10:10, plus five is 10:15. So just think of this. Here's 5:10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So for that got us to 10:30. So then what do we do? Well then, we add those uh, fives up on top, and that'll tell us how much time he's lapsed. So Add the total minutes from 10.05 to 10.30. So here's the total minutes. Here's 5 minutes plus 5 minutes plus 5 minutes. So I'm going to add all those up, and it adds up to 25 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay? So there's one way we could do that. And then the other way I think is pretty easy is the subtraction way, you guys. Since, since the hours are the same, you guys, all we have to do is subtract 30 minus 5 and 30 minus 5 gets us tw uh, 25 on that, okay? So the elapsed time from 10.05 to 10.30 is 25 minutes. All right, you guys, and if you guys could, would you like this video? That would help encourage me. Thanks a lot, you guys. Take care.